Kenya has its nationally determined contribution target to cut emissions by 30% in 2030. This has involved creating green investments, thus the raise of the e-mobility market. The move has been supported by legislation, for example, the Integrated National Transport Policy, the National Energy Efficiency and Conservation Strategy. Although a powerhouse in East Africa and a leader in technology and innovation, Nairobi is taking initiatives despite barriers such as related taxes and aggregate market awareness. With only 350 EVS on the roads, despite 40 e-mobility startups raising 52 million US dollars, efforts are commendable though wanting. Comparatively, Rwanda has 900 EVs, while Uganda, with nine firms raising $5 million, has made significant progress, partly due to the intervention as Chira Motors produces electric buses. The e-mobility journey in Kenya has been stirred by the private sector unlike Tanzania, Rwanda and Uganda, where government has played a central role. Last year, the Uganda's finance ministry provided $150 billion to Chiro Motors, completing the government's $218 million financial commitment. We are getting fruits now. Uh, as you are seeing here, we managed to, to make this solar-powered car. It is working very well. Uh, it is a prototype. But we are expecting to start a production very soon. Uh, we make these vehicles for purpose of using the farm uh, because they are low speed. When I talk about the farm, uh companies assembling and importing electric vehicles and utilities in Kenya confirm tax incentives and concessions from government to help them cut production costs. The technology has gained force with proactive policies of green investment. We have millions of vehicles in the country. Uh, people are moving to EV. Uh, there are certain investors who are now looking at the opportunity to come and set up a plan in the country for bringing batteries and converting vehicles from the current to EV. That is a, 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 an opportunity for investment. As I said, it's, it's not government. It's ours to provide the uh, incentives. Mm -hmm. Globally, it is estimated that one in 250 cars on the road is electric, which equals a global market share of 2.2%. According to the International Energy Agency, sales of the EVs doubled in 2021 from the previous year to a new record 6.6 .6 million compared to the 120,000 sold worldwide in 2012 as nations rise to carbonized transport, which accounts for 16% of global emissions.